Fuzzy Bird. The Doctor is back in Fall Guys with a brand new Doctor Who bundle. Today we're checking out the Tiny Wimey Special Bundle, which features the Doctor and Cyberman. Let's go check it out. So the doctor is in the house with the Timey Wimey special bundle. Get upgraded, doctor or Cyberman. Pick a side in the Time Wars with this mind-bending bundle. So we have one of the doctors here as well as Cyberman over this way. We'll purchase this bundle and showcase both costumes throughout today's episode. So let's go ahead and grab it. So here's our first costume of the bundle, the 14th Doctor. I haven't really seen Doctor Who, but I could definitely say that this is a pretty cool and well-detailed costume. I love the overcoat and then the plaid suit underneath it, and the hair itself looks pretty cool too. So as you can see with the interface, we have the Alonzi nameplate, as well as the Timey Wimey, Wimey Stuff nickname. A little bit of a tongue twister. But yeah, this will be the first costume we showcase out of this bundle. We'll check out Cyberman after, so let's get into some solo shows and see how we fare as the 14th Doctor. All right, so our first round of this show will have us at one of the Fall Guys team levels. We can handle this, no problem, I'm sure of it. So let's run through and see if we can't, you know, make the best of our time here. You know, Doctor Who, time travel, you know, whatever. <laughs> I've never seen this show, but I know that a lot of you enjoyed it when I showcased the other Doctor Who bundles. So I figured we would do the same with this one. And we're pretty on top of it when it comes to showcasing bundles at this point. So I figure, you know, why not? There's also another one that came out um, of the little phone booth, whatever that's called, the TARDIS maybe, something like that. So we'll showcase that next episode. Right now though, it's all about the 14th Doctor and Cybermen. We are out in the lead as it currently stands. And it looks like, oh boy, oh boy, we can get down here, jump through all of that, and get up this way. Okay, hold on, hold on. So far, not too bad. I'll just jump through like this, and boom, we qualify for this round. Awesome, that was a nice first place finish too. Always glad to see that. Ooh, so round two has us climb in the slime, at least to some degree. It's not slime climb, but we are still climbing up the slope. Here, we'll use this to bounce. Okay, I didn't really quite do it perfectly, but at least I ca caught up with him. It looks like the player might be getting ahead a little bit by just continually jumping. Good strategy to keep in mind. I get hit really hard by an orange there, though. Okay, there we go. Very fortunate there. I'll try for the left one again. Left one's not gonna work twice, but the middle one will. Cool. I guess we'll just wait here with this punching glove. Have it punch us up. We're moving over here. Whoa, watch out for the crowd. I will try for the right one this time, and it works out quite well. Now we're at the final stretch to the end of this mini game. Let's just wait for that ax. It definitely would have knocked me off from that angle. And we will try this continually jumping. I don't think that would work here. Definitely doesn't seem like, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, it didn't push me there, that's at least good. I don't think we're in quite the position to get like first place or anything, but we can at least qualify from this for sure. So I will jump, dive, boom, we made it. Okay, so let's see what's going on in this third round, fourth round, something like that. Oh no, oh don't fall, don't fall. Trying to keep up with the competition here because only 11 players get through to the next round. So this is where things can definitely pick up. I somehow did not get hit by that ax there. Happy to say it. Okay, all we really need to do with this one, yep, is to continue making our way down like that. Not too far from uh, catching up the first place. We both fell from that one. Do we try it again? I guess we tried again. Oh, and it worked out this time. Wish I could have done that the first time. We definitely would have had a lead. So I will wait right here, and we'll try to catch up to this group. Okay, okay, not too bad. Now this one, a lot riskier, but I find a way through. All the other players fell off, so that'll be yet another first place finish for us. Two in one show, not too bad. Oh boy, here we go. Another round of Blast Lantis. Sometimes this goes well, sometimes it doesn't, but usually it's more of a mess in squats and stuff like that. So I think we'll be okay. I just gotta make sure I don't get launched off by anybody. Please be careful. I don't see anybody down this way, especially only four people need to be eliminated from this one. So throw that over there a little bit too late with the throw. Yeah, there's really not too many players around for this one. So we qualify, that was so fast. Okay, I think this might be our final round. Yes, it is. A little unfortunate that we're starting a little, like a little bit behind the rest of the competition, but 
maybe I can just make it through one way or another. Okay, gotta be careful, people trying to grab here. Luckily they don't. Everyone's playing a fair competition so far. Oh no, I thought I could make it by way back here. Oh, that is the worst. Couldn't get any kind of way to bounce back from that, huh? Okay, well, that wasn't very useful. I'm not a fan of some of these new final rounds. I gotta be honest, some of them are fine. Some of them not so fine. Okay, so, got it, got it, got it. Okay, I made it, sort of, kind of. It looks like there's just two players in front of us, so. I'm so upset, <laughs> I'm so upset. I'm just trying to get back on the platform and the game says no, thank you. That is a sort of an interesting experience I've had with Fall Guys since the introduction of the level creator is that the Fall Guys team levels themselves, I feel like the general quality of them has become more of a mixed bag. I feel like obviously when it comes to user crit levels, it, what was that? It makes sense that sometimes certain levels are gonna be better than others, it's totally to be expected, but the Fall Guys team levels are developed by the same people who made all the other mini games in the game before this, but some of them just really don't feel like they meet the same quality standard now that it's been like the creative construction kind. This is definitely one of them in my opinion, but it's okay. We got through it, so that's pretty cool, and we got to, we got to a final round and that's always good. So we'll probably do one more show here with the 14th Doctor before we switch over to Cyberman. We got three golds and one silver there. Let's try another show, preferably not a solo show, and see how we do. I think we'll do duos. How far can we get with a partner? All right, full tilt is our next round, or our first round of this next show. Let's see how it goes. And as we're rushing through this one, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the 14th Doctor costume as a part of this timey-wimey bundle. I'm glad that I'm starting to pronounce that more correctly. It's just a really hard one to say. It's just a bit of a tongue twister of a bundle, but we will hop up here. Come on, got it. Ooh, not so bad. We've gotten first place in this show quite a few times before, so I hope we can at least get a decently top position. It doesn't really need to be first, but close to first is always preferred. That's more points for our little squad here. Okay, getting over here, I do see another drum. I think they missed the drum. <laughs> okay, come on, keep it going, keep it going. But yeah, so far this is a cool costume. I don't know anything about Doctor Who and I probably never will, but uh, <laughs> I think that from what I do know about it, which is that it's a TV show and that's it. Um, you know, this seems like it's a pretty cool costume. I'd love to hear any Doctor Who fans out there what their thoughts are on this costume and bundle. But just like as a costume unconnected to the show, it's still a pretty cool one. I think it's a fun outfit and just looks overall nice. Anyways, we are able to get that first place and with it securing 40 points for our duos here. So let's see what they get get up to. Looks like they're rushing through. They might be able to make it. Ooh, just barely getting past that peg. And because of that, we should be able to earn up some extra points here. Jumping us back up the first place just by one point. That is pretty nice. All right, so let's see how things go for this second round. We know what to do with a classic show like this one, our classic round. We just gotta jump down here, pick up some speed. It looks like we were really the only one who did that, so we can keep pushing through with this one. I mean, obviously if we can get to the end of this show, that's great, but I don't expect it too much with it just being a duo. Sometimes things just get mixed up. The nature of things. Don't grab me, leave me alone. What did that accomplish for either of us? All right, well, it looks like there's a lot of hammers swinging around. I got some good speed heading into this too, so I can maybe, ooh, that did not work out at all. Uh, I was hoping one of those hammers could get me a first place finish, and it does! Wow, that was very fortunate towards the end. And our other teammate, not too far behind, secures us a second place finish. That feels pretty darn good. Frantic Factory is our next round. Ooh, haven't seen this one in a good long while, so. Let's see if we can press those buttons. I see one over here, but actually being able to press it might prove to be a bit of a challenge. We'd have to stay right about here. What was that? Oh my gosh, I got sent flying. Okay, my teammate and I are trying to get it, so I'll hold this person over and maybe you could press it. Okay, uh, come on, come on, come on, no, come on. Oh, this one is sort of like Hoopsie Legends in terms of stress factor. Um, It's just a little ridiculous in that way. Um, I could bounce off of that. It doesn't really get me too much, does it? I mean, from what I remember with a mini game like this, it's better just to hang around one or two buttons and try to be just available for when they are 
ready to be pressed. So we'll try to do that only one point so far. Um, I don't think it's really gonna work if I'm like right next to it, but who knows. I do see, the, okay, this one here, and I'll try to go, go, go. That button, that gets us to the three out of 10. That's always good to see. I do see another button over there, but it's a little too far for me. I can get this one for sure. Come on now, come on. We're at four out of 10. I pressed all the buttons that they've been to press. I don't think that one's gonna pop up again before it goes away. So I'll try one of these other ones. Just continually positioning myself near it. Okay, they'll get that one, unfortunately. Okay, there's a lot over here. I don't see anybody at this one. Come on, dive for it. There we go, we're at five out of 10. And then there's another one up here. Thank you very much. Two teams have qualified. As more teams qualify, that does leave more openings for us. I see that button, but probably not too much of a hope of me getting to it in time. Okay, ooh, here we go, got it. I don't think as a team we should be doubling up on the same buttons, but I do see this over here. I might be able to get it in time. Come on, no, wait, oh, come on. That was ridiculous, but oh my gosh, people pushing me off at the worst time. I'm getting a little panicked here. What was that? I was on the button. All right, one more button. That's all we need. Let's not go too crazy about it. There's gotta be a button popping up. That one is too far gone. Come on, there's gotta be something. We qualified, our teammate found one. That is great. So we found a way through one way or another, thanks to them. Awesome, on to the next round. Snowball survival is our next round here with our duo partner. I think we can do it, but you never know. Every moment that we can spend earning up points is what matters, only four teams can qualify. So we'll run through this as much as we can, just trying to get rid of some of the ice, maybe make it a bit more difficult for the surrounding players. This is a double snowball round. I feel like a lot of the times, oh no, recently we've had single snowball rounds, so double does make it significantly more complicated. Ooh. Watching both of them at once like that can be challenging, especially when my camera will not let me see the video game. Okay, uh, this is not good. That is also not good. I didn't fall off. It was nothing short of a miracle. A lot of other players are falling up with only 23 seconds remaining. Both of our players are still here. We'll do some crazy moves. Oh man, hi. Um, come on, come on, come on. Let's be careful, don't get knocked off. Okay, no, I got knocked off. We both did. Uh oh, we might not make it. We might make it. There's not too much time left over, but we're fourth place right now. Will the fifth place team catch us? They will the last second. Oh, that is the worst. So unfortunate that we couldn't make it any farther than that. But that's as far as we get. It is what it is. We will move on from the 14th Doctor with that show. Two shows at the 14th Doctor. Let's do two more as Cyberman to, of course, finish the deal. But yeah, that was pretty cool overall. You know, all things considering, I had a good time with that one. Uh, very cool costume. But let's see how the next costume is. Cyberman, as part of this bundle, is right down this way. And he will also have his own little Cyberman plate and the You Will Be Upgraded nickname. So let's go ahead and get that equipped. So here's our good buddy, Cyberman. I don't know if this guy's a good guy, bad guy, who knows. But uh, he is this silver robot with tons of details to him, looking overall pretty darn cool. I like the pipe that goes through the top of the head there. And of course, like I said before, we got the interface, the Cyberman nameplate, and you will be upgraded nickname, ready to go. We'll do another solo show to get started, and then maybe we'll mix it up with some of the other ones. All right, so for this first solo show round, we're just sliming and sliding around the slime. Let's see what we can do. Oh no, down that. That was not very good. It's okay, we'll catch up. Keep it moving, keep it moving. I'm pushed around by some stuff, but overall we'll catch up a little bit, especially with the speed boost, if I don't get just totally blocked by other people. Oh no, ooh, the crash in the middle. This one is proving to be a bit rough. Come on, catch back up. I'll dive through all this. And go through here. Okay, this is our chance to catch up a little bit. I think at this point it's much too late to get a first place finish, just because too many people were in the way. But we can at least catch up and get a little bit of a better finish for sure. So yeah, our chance of getting first is gone, but looks like we'll get about 10th place, which is enough to get us to round two. Okay, treetop tumble is our next round. We know all about these. so. I think we can handle just going down the middle with this one, getting a decent finish. We're pretty familiar with a lot of these. Oh no, okay. Got it. Gotta avoid some of these frogs as they puff up, as they're riveting. Oh no, whoa. Okay, <laughs> no, that's, this is not good. Usually I don't have too much of an issue with this part, but that was, actually that was the worst I've ever had to do that one. 
Oh my goodness. There we go. See, that's what I usually do, but I struggled a little bit that time. We will try to bounce through. Got it, two rhinos stomping around here. They are not playing very friendly. Okay, was able to avoid some disasters there. Can you please excuse me? Some players already qualifying from this one. Yes, we got some tough competition around here, that is for sure. I will jump through this, bounce again, dive, and boom, we do make it, but a little too close for comfort for some of these. Usually I'm a lot better at them. Okay, so we're coming up on another round with this one. We got the fans blowing around. I think we'll at least go over here. Got it. I remember this one being a little bit odd, but so far we're keeping up with it pretty well, so maybe it's fine. Whoa, that player got launched flying right into me. Looks like we're already about maybe halfway through this one. Gotta be careful of the hammer. Unfortunately, diving into that one, maybe not the answer. We'll try it again though. The hammer not being very useful, are you kidding? Come on, try that again. Dive over. You are so mean. Get out of here, Mr. Hammer. That's all I needed, that's all I needed. There's a lot of pressure here, so we just really gotta make sure it happens. Diving over like that, got it. And we're rushing over this way. Okay, some players once again already qualifying. I'm really struggling with this show. Okay, can we make it to the end here? That's the big question. It's gonna be close, but unfortunately, no we won't. So Cyberman gets eliminated from this solo show. That is what it is. I mean, it was a tough show for sure. A lot of players giving it their all there. We're gonna back out of this one, and I think we're gonna try something else. Um, probably, you know, maybe we'll do the survival of the fittest again. We usually get pretty far on that one, so might as well give it a try. Okay, so. Going back over here. We'll do survival of the fittest. Let's see what we can get done with this show. Okay, our first round of this one will be just jumping around. 12 players need to be eliminated from this though, which is quite a lot for a mini game like this. It's the first round though, so you never know. We'll just have to wait and see as a bunch of players are getting bumped around. The blueberries and strawberries being launched at us too. Make it pretty intense, but I'll just stay over here. But as we're trying to survive this, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the Cyberman costume as part of this Timey Wimey bundle. And of course, once again, your thoughts on the bundle overall. <laughs> there we go. I think it's a cool costume, but once again, I don't know anything about it. All right, we gotta survive some more snowballs before this is where we got eliminated from our duo show. Would that be the case here? I don't quite know, but I mean, I think in solos, it could be a little bit more of a mixed bag. Sometimes it means we have a higher chance of surviving, sometimes a lower chance. Three snowballs? I don't think I've ever seen this with three snowballs. I don't think anybody has a chance of surviving this one. Oh my gosh, three players already knocked out. We just gotta make sure that we're maybe not the next player unlimited. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, come on, we do it. That was so scary. Ooh, block party, another pretty simple one. I think we can handle it. I guess we'll have to wait and see though. Three, two, one, and let's get to avoiding some blocks. We'll do some crazy dance moves since we have them. Most of these, of course, are for the TMNT bundles that we've been showcasing, so. Got this, <laughs> we're beating people up. Wow, very cool, very cool. I'll get up here too. And just try to make sure we don't get eliminated. Ooh, I get up here, very fancy. Well, that player almost got knocked out because they missed the jump. Only four players need to be knocked out for this, so I wanna mind just, you know, hoping that those players get knocked out soon. Oh, one of them walking too far right off the edge. That's always a shame, you gotta be careful with that. Three more players now in total. So, we're just waiting for one more to fall off. This might end up being a quick round of block party, which I would definitely prefer. Got it? Okay, just a little bit more here. This is definitely one of the more challenging versions of Block Party. But so far, the rest of the players are keeping up with it quite well. Make a big jump over here. I just gotta be careful that nobody's trying to grab us, because that would definitely disrupt a few things here. Okay, there's a little bump there. And we made it, we made it. Okay, last 30 second stretch here, so no matter if a player gets eliminated or not, I think we can make it. 
We'll have to wait and see. Every jump is one step closer to victory. Here it is, last stretch. I always love how the last stretch times so well with the music. There we go, we just barely made that jump. That was a little scary. And we qualified, somebody fell off towards the end. So there's another one done. It's time for stomping ground again. This is definitely our semi-final round, right? Or actually, maybe this is our final round? It says that six players need to be eliminated. There's only six other players. A stomping ground, oh my goodness. Well, I guess I'll never know. The stomping ground final round would have been really interesting, but I get eliminated straight away. Yikes, we're just gonna head out from there and wrap it up for this Doctor Who bundle. The Timey Wimey bundle was an interesting one. Two cool costumes here for sure. So definitely let me know if you plan on getting this one and stay tuned if you enjoyed the Doctor Who bundles, you're in luck because there's another one in the shop they'll be showcasing next episode right down here. This is of course the, not this one, the TARDIS bundle. So well, the TARDIS bundle as well as a new victory emote there. So that's really cool. Um, hopefully we'll be able to unlock that. But these other Doctor Who bundles, we've already purchased and showcased the regeneration bundle and Dr. Dalek bundle. So if you're curious in them, definitely go check out those episodes. But for the time being, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.